Well then, another year, another first round League Cup exit for Swindon Town. This time it was at the hands of League One Crawley. But all eyes will be on Jack Bycroft, the Swindon Town goalkeeper, after he shipped four goals and made another big couple of errors after his error for the goal against Chesterfield in the first league game of the season. On this video, we'll be asking, does Swindon Town need a new goalkeeper? Let's go. I do want to start this video by saying I'm a big fan of Jack Bycroft generally. I think he's had a tough start to the season, of course. I feel like he made a big mistake for the first goal against Crawley tonight, and I feel like he was mostly to blame for the goal that we conceded against Chesterfield. However, you've got to take into context the fact that he's a very young goalkeeper. He's going to make mistakes. He's not made a lot of league appearances so far. And, and he's someone who really cares about the club. So I feel like it's not someone that we should really jump on and criticise too much. We should rally behind a player like this. And I hate to see some of the comments on social media tonight, which, you know, quite over the top in my opinion it's only been two games Bycroft can come back from this if he makes a great couple of saves in the next game keeps a few clean sheets we'll be completely forget all about this and for a while in t tonight's game against Crawley it looked like we would forget all about his error that you know put us behind in the first place because when we'll touched on the game a little bit at 2-0 down I thought we were really poor I thought there was no chance we'd get back into it but I was really impressed with how Swindon really dialed up the intensity of their press and forced Crawley into mistakes, particularly with the first goal from off a ball. Uh, we harried Papadopoulos from Crawley into making a misplaced pass. Glatzel gets on the ball, holds up beautifully, times the pass to off a ball, great finish, 2-1. And then the equaliser, which eventually came from the head of Harry Smith from a corner after Will Wright missed a penalty. Will Wright missing a penalty with both Glatzel and Harry Smith on the pitch thought it was very interesting that he took it and I, he's kind of slow walk up style uh, it's good if it goes in if it doesn't you really got to question why he's taking the penalties but in the first place again this this really came from Swindon Town putting up a high press on Crawley Crawley lost confidence after they conceded the first goal and Swindon after getting to two all were really in the ascendancy and I could see us winning the game from there and then Jack Bycroft gets beaten by the second long-range effort of the night, which, great strike from the Crawley lad, was it Rawls or something, I think his name was, two fabulous goals from him, but you've really got to question a goalkeeper as well who's conceding multiple goals in the same game from outside the box, no matter the quality, and also to go on and concede four goals... Again, the fourth goal I thought was a good finish. You'd expect the striker to score in that scenario. The defending wasn't very good. We could have pressed a bit better. Um, Will Wright, I think, was culpable for the fourth goal a little bit as well. He could get closer to his man and, and stop him from shooting under Jack Bycroft. So you, you could blame Jack Bycroft for some of the goals, and there is definitely an argument. I understand that, but I feel like he didn't get quite the protection he should have gotten from his defence either. So to bl blame him and put all the blame at his door, I think, would be very harsh. Let's take a quick look at some of the goals that he has conceded then. So the Chesterfield goal, as you can see here... Bycroft actually does a good job, I think, in the first place with the save, but his indecisiveness, in, he should be jumping right on the ball, and instead he doesn't. It allows the Chesterfield man to get the ball in the back of the net. Dobra putting the ball in. Feel like that was a keeper error. He should have reacted quicker, he should have been dominant, should have taken the opportunity to stop the threat when he had the chance. So I feel like that is on Bycroft. But he did redeem himself later in the game with a strong save in the game, and I feel like Bycroft is a good shot stopper it's just maybe the fact that he's so inexperienced he doesn't have the confidence to sometimes claim balls in that situation we see he should have been more confident he should have just come through taking the ball given Chesterfield no chance of getting on it if we analyze the first goal from Crawley in the League Cup game I really I it's harder to stand in his defense because we see the angle of the finish Bycroft really, a professional goalkeeper, should not be letting that in. And he lets it kind of squeeze under him and just into the net. I feel like that can't really be explained. That's poor goalkeeping. It's at your near post. You've got to stop it. Plain and simple. And then the long-range goals here. So we see the first one. It, it, the camera work on it is it was pretty poor from the Sky cameras. It looks like Bycroft might get a touch to it. 
it's tough to blame the goalkeeper not being a goalkeeper myself but it is from long range and you think maybe the goalkeeper could do better with the third goal similar situation it's outside the box he gets a little something to it maybe but can he turn it around for like one of those it would be nice for him to save it again I'm not a goalkeeper I'm not a goalkeeper coach so it's not maybe me to say and the fourth one here against Crawley he gets a little touch to it doesn't he I feel like again you kind of expect the the striker to score in that situation so there's not too much blame to be put on him I think my view then I think overall I think we should get a goalkeeper in for competition for that can only benefit Bike after we get someone experienced in then someone he can learn off someone who can be kind of an additional goalkeeper coach maybe and we need someone whether it's an experienced pro whether it's a loanee from a Premier League club, a promising goalkeeper, it's got to be someone who will realistically be pushing Bycroft and not someone like Redmond Evans, the current understudy, where Bycroft knows that realistically he's not going to be taken out in favour of that player. I think this really helps Stephen Bender in the season we won the League Two title in the 1920 season under Richie Wellens, having Luke McCormick as a backup goalkeeper who actually started the season ahead of him really gave Bender something to aim for because he knew, look, this guy meant business. This Richie Reynolds, the manager then, would pick Luke McCormick if Bender was not playing well. So it meant Bender had to raise his own game. And I feel like that's what Bycroft really needs. He's a player who's still got a lot of development left in his career. He's super, super young as a goalkeeper. And I really hope that this can be a learning curve for him and he can he can get over this and become a really, really strong goalkeeper. Because I want to see a player like Jack Bycroft who loves the club, really wants the best. You know, we saw he got the armband at some stage last season, so you'd hope that means he's a bit of a leader in the dressing room. I want to see a player like that stay with Swindon for a very long time, and we stop seeing the constant churn of players that we're far too used to in this day and age. Those are my thoughts then, but what do you think? Please let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that we should get a new goalkeeper in? Do you think that this should be the end for Jack Bycroft at Swindon Town? keen to see where people lie on this issue but mainly thank you for watching the video please like and subscribe if you enjoyed we're getting close to a thousand subscribers so it would really help me and really help the channel if you did subscribe if you're not already and hopefully if you do i will see you next time up the swing let's go